Hello users and welcome to another episodic in stylation of Above It All, the series in which I talk about politics and how I am literally just better than everyone else. I'm literally like if you were to craft like you know if you're playing the Sims or something and you were to make like hmm let me make a sim that is as great as I am except 5,000 times better I being you in that instance that would probably the end result would be very close to myself I'm just a brilliant unopposed in the greatness categories a uh, human being and with that in mind I've got a story for you um, that I was going to cover last week, but I just forgot about it because I'm stupid. But I've been looking into this a lot more over the past few days, and that is basically I am under the I am under the belief that either the DNC or just the DNC and the RNC are colluding in doing a lot of mass voter suppression, and um, in Texas. Uh, this was last week's primary. Of course, Super Tuesday had Texas. And if you remember, Biden barely, by the skin of his teeth, won Texas. And it's super interesting here because um, the state had one polling place for every 4,000 residents in 2012. But that number rose to 7,700 residents by 2018. So basically what that means is they basically... Like, they theoretically cut the polling places in half. 4,000, if you round 7,700 up to 8,000, that's about double the residents, which would mean about half the polling places. That is ludicrous. That is absolutely ludicrous. Again, keep in mind, most people have jobs, right? Like 99% of people have jobs, right? So like if vote, if they like will drive by a voting place and it looks like there's a long ass line, they'll probably go like, eh, I, get, I don't have time for this. Something like that. Most people don't have time to stand in line and wait for three hours. I remember when I was in Maryland, uh, the polling place that I went to um, in the 2016 primary and general election, I think during the general, I ended up having to wait two hours. During the primary, I ended up having to wait an hour or so. Here in North Carolina, um, the polling place I went to, um, for early voting, it was just in and out. We're the only people there. But again, early voting is, you know, not many people vote early voting compared to the normal thing. And I didn't go because I wasn't here. Uh, well, I, I was actually here during regular voting, but I didn't go. Um, just to get, I should have probably, but... One of the things is long lines are just like if you drive by with the intent to vote and you see a long ass line, chances are you're not going to vote after that. And one of the things about Texas's voter suppression with shutting down polling places is it correlates with the counties that have the highest minority populations and like the highest rates of growth for minority populations, at least according to this article. Um, so it, it's just. This is something that we need to we need to keep this in mind. I fully believe at this point, and I don't think it's much of a conspiracy theory to even say this, that I think the DNC is intentionally trying to limit the potential wins of Bernie Sanders. If you look at Iowa, the Iowa disaster, that was just step one. Um, New Hampshire was a little too close for my comfort. Nevada, he won by a landslide, so they couldn't really do much. South Carolina, there was a lot. I was actually on the ground in South Carolina, and I can tell you straight up that there was a lot of polling shit. Um, for example, the biggest thing on the day of the election day when I was working with the campaign was we were supposed to get people out to vote and also inform them that their polling place was completely changed. Because if you were to like know where your polling place is and map this out before, oh, before I go to work, I'm going to stop by over here. If you were to do this the day before, you'd be fucked. You you drive by the polling place and you go like, oh, uh, and then you just go to work. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. And this is this is something I actually spoke to someone who was like, oh yeah, we tried to vote, but there was nothing there. Um, and you just have to tell them, oh, well, your polling place has changed and the government posted it on the website that no one knows the URL for. So it's like one of those things where actually being on the ground and interacting with real people has definitely expanded my perspective on this, is that people by and large will not, you know, Unless they're super enthusiastic, they will not go out of their way to vote no matter what. People will usually just treat it like, oh, it's a little chore I have to do, or it's like an errand or something. And if you put any real 
impediment to that. It's basically going to just make them go like, eh, fuck it. And the thing is, especially with minority populations, is that their their lives are often too hectic. Uh, and poor and working class people just often don't have a lot of that free time to just stand in a voting line for three hours. I think there was in... Uh, it was in, I think, in California last uh, week. Someone was standing in line to wait for seven hours. Seven hours just to get their vote in? Ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. Uh, keep in mind, um, California hasn't even finished counting all of its ballots yet. Um, but as, as, if I can go on in this article here, um, Brazoria County near Houston closed nearly 6% of the polling sites in violation of the law. The county said the closures were inadvertent. Like, that's one of those things where it's like, it doesn't matter if they break the law. As long as they fuck around on election day, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, like when, when, when companies will pour chemicals under the water and then because they're so profitable, they'll just pay off the lawsuits. So like they have like a budget for the lawsuits. You know what I mean? That's basically what this is. Oh, well, we did the job. The job's done. So yeah, sure, we'll have to pay a bunch of fines. And, you know, we might get, you know, a few people might have to get fired, but so what? You know, the job's been done. They're not, it's not like they're going to do a redo for whatever reason. Just America doesn't work like that. So it's not like they're going to do another voting day. It's not like Texas 2 is going to happen. So eh, we already did what we were going to do. So we'll just deal with the consequences. That's how these people view this stuff. It's ridiculous. And I'm probably going to be doing more videos on voter suppression um, over the next week or two, uh, just because I do think this is getting more and more important. The exit polls have massive discrepancies and uh, there's just lots of bullshit going on. Lots of bullshit. Um, so if you see anything uh, fishy, let me know. And if you're in a uh, state that votes today, be sure to vote and uh, be sure to get your entire family to vote. If you don't, then I'll, I'll, I'll punch you in the face. And... Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. It's just spoiler, you know, like alert. This is this is humor. This is satire. This is a satirical video. I am a satirical person. However, the polling uh, place is being shut down. That's not satirical. That's real life. So be sure to know where your voting place is and uh, be sure to get there as early as you can with as much time to spare. <laughs>